that's the culpability given moral sinner. Moral sinners who pass judgment on others are without excuse. And our, our world is full of judgmentalism today. We think we've gotten away from God from religion, now it's in our political culture. It's everywhere. But now we'll be judged if we don't accept you know, homosexuality as being a, a normal lifestyle, for example. And a lot of people are self-righteous in this whole, I mean, it's like a new flagpole of righteousness, as I've said. Uh, you know, I, I can just see this coming. You don't agree with this, you're a sinner. You're a liberal sinner, you, you've, you've broken the laws of liberalism. So we have a lot of self-righteousness today, even in our liberal culture. Moral sinners who pass judgment on others are without excuse, and then verse one as well, God says that when moral sinners do the same things they accuse others of doing, they actually condemn themselves. Environmentalism, Al Gore runs around these big jets. He, you know, he uses up all kinds of energy in his own home. Flies around in helicopters. Harrison Ford, he's a big environmentalist. Uh, you know, he flies around in helicopters, has these houses all over the place. Uh, Robert Redford has a beautiful ranch up there, and uh, he has a ski resort he's built. You know, up there in the Sundance area. Of course, it's a sustainable ski resort. I've been there, seen it, beautiful. One of my favorite movies is Jeremiah Johnson. It was filmed up there. Um, a lot of things that go on. These guys are hypocrites. James Cameron, Avatar, very environmental movie, right? That guy's got submarines, his own personal submarine. A couple of helicopters, you know, it's just, that they're hypocrites. Yet they're judging other people for not being environmental. You know, it's just, you know, as soon as they start this process, it's just, the game's over. Verse 2, God always judges properly. God's judgment rightly falls and upon those who practice the same things. And then verse 3, God's judgment is inescapable. Do you think you will escape the judgment of God? And that's what he says there. We know the judgment of God rightly falls upon those who practice such things, verse 2. But do you suppose this, O man... When you pass judgment on those who practice such things and do the same yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? The answer is no. Absolutely not. 